Hey, it's Izzy Jane Vlay. I was just thinking, you know, I was married for 30 years and I did everything right and raised two boys. One had leukemia, it was the hardest thing, I survived. Finally, when I just wasn't fulfilled in my marriage anymore, it was just not, it was like I was a piece of furniture. But I'd cook and clean and work and just go through the motions and there was no, it was like having a bad roommate, you know? So I finally left. Well, I filed for divorce and COVID hit and I was stuck with someone who was, just didn't get, just wasn't nice to me. It was abusive and controlling and I couldn't be me. I couldn't do anything. And I finally broke free. I moved to this beach town. And then doing all the things I couldn't do for 30 years. Like drink and hang with friends and anything that wasn't in the, the rule book that I didn't even know I signed up for when I got married. My kids are grown and I was supposed to just work, come home, cook, clean, not have any friends, any hobbies, anything. And you know, I went along with it when you're busy raising kids and doing that. It's like, I love that until it didn't exist anymore because they're grown. It, wasn't fulfilling and it wasn't even if I didn't follow the rules I just got persecuted verbally abused and emotionally abused and we stay silent I was fucking verbally and emotionally abused and neglected when I was a kid and I stayed silent and pretended everything was fine I did it my whole fucking marriage why are we shouldn't do that anymore to save face, to cover, to fucking protect people that are fucking criminals and hurting other people. And women are, oh, you're a good caretaker and you're supposed to be selfish, so selfless. Selfless is not being a fucking punching scapegoat, fucking someone to gaslight, abuse, and treat, and tell them what to do. And I was so groomed all my life because. I didn't feel worthy. I didn't wasn't loved. I, anything was good compared to being alone and just ignored. And fuck, I confused control for love, attention. It wasn't healthy attention. And then I moved to the beach town. I felt the same thing. And then all of a sudden, people started talking to me. It was a teacher and a mother. I've done 40 half marathons. I've fucking done so many things and accomplished so much. And these fucking people are calling me names and saying things and treating me badly and then affecting every area of my life. Spreading rumors, gang stalking me, doing everything. But I lived there so I was like, maybe they were just confused. That's not me. And banned from bars I've never even been in. You wouldn't believe Except for people causing all sorts of trouble with my landlord and I didn't do anything. I got to the point where I didn't have any people over. I didn't even go out. I was all alone. They called me work. They called police on me for falsely arrested. They all got dismissed. I was a fucking model citizen. No one's protecting me. I pay thousands of dollars in taxes. And I made this channel so I could make sure people knew my story. Then I had a doppelganger dressing up as me and saying it was me. It's true. One or two things happened. You're like, that's odd. But it got, someone's calling these things in and false reports. It was all dismissed. Then you realize the entire community went against me. When they were my friends. That I was a caretaker and did everything for And I just put on a smile because I have to live there. Eventually I left. I was basically run out of town, terrorized. I have a laundry list of stuff. No one has helped me, no one. No one has contacted me, even putting out a request for help. Different agencies and things, nothing. How I was treated in prison. There's so many deaths in that freaking prison. And I, I know what it's like. It was horrifying. 
Why are we letting criminals run our country? Why are we putting up with this abuse? 99% is doing all the work all the time for the 1% who doesn't even pay taxes or work. The system isn't working. It's, just, it's not the life I fucking worked all my life for. You can't afford anything. You can't even baby formula or food. Let me just put up his smile. People are suffering. Why is there war? There's actually no need for this. My heart goes out to everyone that is marginalized, persecuted, killed. Today I was thinking, why don't we all just take a knee? Say no. No. Take a knee. I'm not going to fight that war that I don't believe in. I'm not going to go to that job that I don't get benefits for and have to work endless hours and I get disrespected. No. I'm not going to pay rent that is so fucking ridiculously high and keeps going 40% up and up and up. That I keep that you work and you... I worked 30 fucking years and my pension won't even cover me living. That healthcare is crazy. This is not what was intended. There's enough resources and everything. Whose earth is it? Whose resources are there? We're everybody's. We got here first and we own everything. Everything's a fucking... Profit deal. It is profiting. I want a world that's better for my children. I don't know how people can do it nowadays. I'm trying to get a divorce and it's just like shelling out money to this specialist, this lawyer, this. I wish I never got married. I love my kids. It's not saying. Because it's just. I don't Everyone says no. It'll be the cog in the machine. Take a knee. Say, no war. We're all going to stop working until you fucking stop. We've... It's absolutely unnecessary. I have children. There's children fighting that. Fight. There people that have... I can't even imagine. The suffering. The death that's unnecessary. Please. Take a knee. If we all just say no, fix it. Take a knee. Leave me a comment. Let me uh, fucking worked all my fucking life to be fucking persecuted and treated like shit and fucking run out of town when I wanted to start my new life. Everybody knows what's going on there because they were my friends that all went against me. I don't notice. You be ashamed of yourself. When did being first or winning be more important than humanity? The caring and loving for your brothers, sisters, mothers, your neighbors. This isn't what was intended. This isn't. Give me a piece of land and a cow. I don't have to work for anybody. I'll just live. It's really kidding me. I, I feel everybody's pain. I, I have kids. Like, I get it. There's somebody's kids. It's somebody's mother. It's somebody's father. It's somebody's child. Being blown away. be better. Everyone can win. Everyone can win. Instead of comparing. Just love. Spread love. No one's better than anybody else. Love is the answer. Love. It transcends time and space. It's the 
the only commodity there is. <laughs> Take it easy now. I'm gonna dance my ass off. It's the only thing that brings me joy. Right?